What a twist! Okay, I had to get it out of the way. Anyway, Trap. M. Night Shyamalan's latest thriller. And it's a pretty decent, uh, it's a decent movie. Is it his best? Absolutely not. It's not gonna go down as his best. Not even close. Is it his worst? Also, absolutely not. Uh, what makes Trap is Josh Hartnett's performance. You see, on the surface, his character, um, Cooper, is cool, calm, collected, but the look in his eyes and his facial expressions, everything says that this is a man who's panicking, doesn't know what to do. He's looking at every single little detail in this concert of how to get away. And that is that makes for some good watching. The story itself is kind of pretty generic. I mean, there's a serial killer. He's on the verge of being caught. And he's on his last leg, so to speak, because they're like this close to catching him and he's got to figure out how to get away. We've seen it a bunch of times. But again, it's Hartnett's performance that kind of pushes it ahead of the stereotypical uh, story. Now, it was funny. When the trailer came out, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm watching it and it's like you gave the twist away in the trailer, Josh Hartnett's the serial killer. But that's not the twist. I mean, it is kind of a twist, but there's actually a couple and a few land, a few don't. The ones that land, they land well. And, you know, I think they were good enough where it, it would make me want to watch the movie again, not necessarily in theaters, but like if it shows up on Netflix or Prime or whatever, I'd give it another watch. But Shyamalan has always had, even in his worst movies, a great attention to detail, and Trap is no different, uh, especially with Hartnett's character when he's just trying to pinpoint every little detail that's going on at this show with all these cops around the FBI trying to figure out what the hell is going on and how he's going to get away. And even though the movie has a few logical endpoints, it just continues. And sometimes when a movie does that, it's like, oh, come on. But Trap isn't really like that because as I sat there, like I wanted to know what was gonna happen next. I wanted to know, is Hartnett gonna get away? I wanna know if, actually I don't wanna, what I was about to say, I don't wanna say because it's a spoiler, but <laughs> there's things that like went on, like I wanted to know what was gonna happen next. But again, the best thing about Trap is Josh Hartnett. He plays a villain so well. And after I saw Josh Hartnett in his episode of Black Mirror, I knew that he was born to play a villain in horror. While M. Night Shyamalan doesn't really make horror horror, you know, he makes thrillers, he makes psychological thrillers, but at the same time, thriller is like a subgenre of horror. But, uh, you know, Hartnett, was made to do that like he was did it so well in that black mirror episode and he does it so well here i want to see him do more roles like this so ultimately trap you know again it's not going to go down as like his best movie definitely not his worst it's like middle of the road i would say it's shot incredibly well it's a really big scope compared to a lot of his other movies where it's just like kind of contained and, but you know, it's at a concert. So there's thousands of thousands of people. There's thousands of extras. So and that's a lot of people to like tell what to do, but he handles it very well. The angles and the cinematography is fantastic. And again, the attention to detail, especially for Hartnett is superb. So if you were on the fence for seeing this, I would highly suggest it just to see Josh Hartnett kill it because he is the reason to go see this movie. I'm going to give Trap a B minus. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.